I'm here to say a few words about our new product release, uh, the Grindstone uh, effect simulation software, which is connected to our uh, naval guns and our uh, ammunition at uh, BAE Systems, mainly. So, to show you on the screen uh, a little bit more about how the software works. We use it mainly to optimize the effect of our guns and our ammunition. We can create scenario-based simulation with uh, different sort of threats, aerial threats and surface targets, for example. And then we can run simulations to see in which way we best use our guns and our smart ammunition. Of course, with our smart ammunition, the 3P ammunition, we have different modes, different settings on the fuse. Uh, and you need to use them in the best way possible to get the most of, out of it. Uh, this is both a way to save time on the firing range or uh, in the test site, and of course, save a lot of money as well. Because by doing this in a simulation environment at first, you can then uh, decide which different firing patterns, which different modes on the 3P ammunition will have the most likelihood to have a kill in the target. And then we try a fewer different uh, options on the, on the firing range than we would other have to. And in the software, the end user and the customer can uh, build their own targets. We just import the model from a CAD file with standard uh, CAD format. And when you have your object in the software, you can create your event tree. Once that is done, you do run the simulation. You can shoot with uh, one or more weapons at the same time. You can use multiple platforms, multiple guns against multiple threats, both aerial and surface. We have done lots of verification on the data. Uh, we have extensive in-house knowledge of the ballistics, of course, at Bofors in Sweden. And we also have a really close, uh, in close proximity, we have our own test site, firing range, where we can verify all the data that we are running simulations on. So we're actually more or less using witness plates, do a detonation and count the holes and measure the uh, penetration depth in di different materials. In this way, we can use, as you see in the picture, the ammunition and the guns in the best way possible.